Uh, this video is just going to be me rambling on about a few projects we've got going on, like that, and a few other things. Um, I'll give you a, a little tour of a few of the projects and kind of show you what's going around this messy workshop. flame red and we have the headlight trim ring that they stole it was only eleven dollars I took some 400 grit sandpaper and roughed this up this came in black so it's kind of rough there there's a part number in case you want to see it I, uh, Tong Yang, I guess, made in China, who knows, it was $12, and uh, this is Duplicolor, this is the actual paint code there, it's flame red, and that's your paint code there, and we'll top it off with some clear coat. <clears throat> I've used this in the past on small trim pieces like that, it works fairly well, and I've got this pristine hood it's burgundy though from the u-pullet uh to put on the cheap jeep because that one uh has a thousand dents in it and was jumped on by kids but this one's in extremely good shape and hopefully i'll get the courage to paint that okay we're going to follow the directions this says to um once you scuff it up wipe it down with some wax and tar remover or some um alcohol so we're going to use that and wipe this down and while that dries we'll shake this up for about a minute this will help speed the drying process just don't get it too hot you don't want it to warp of course it also said to scuff it up I did that and we're about to lay down our first coat. Do a little test pattern. Very light coat. All right, the directions say two to three light coats and then 10 minutes between. So that's what we're gonna do. Timer is set. While we're waiting, I'm gonna show you something that you may or may not know. Uh, you probably don't know. This is an old Sirius satellite uh, radio. You, you gotta excuse the rain. It is um, tropical storm, um, whatever, Chernobyl, something. Anyway, old Sirius satellite radios. I don't think it works with the old XM, but now they're Sirius XM combined. But if you have an old one, if you plug it in, it is perpetually turned on. So you do not need a subscription. Uh, and I even uh, felt bad because I have two of these. This is one and I got one in my other Jeep. And I'm gonna put this in the cheap Jeep. But I called uh, Sirius um, and told them, hey, look, this thing's on. I don't wanna pay any money and they said, don't worry about it. If you got one of the old, old units, they just stay on and, until they wear out and then, uh, then they wear out. So enjoy your free satellite radio. So I've got one in my uh, JK Jeep and I'm gonna put this in the cheap Jeep, but I try to take good care of it. I don't even know if this one works. I had it in my toolbox. So we're gonna see if it works and I'll let you know. But if it does, then that's another perpetually on Sirius satellite radio. So if you've got any of these old things uh, what you need to do is uh, take them out, brush them off, and see if they still work. Because if they work, uh, they'll be turned on. So I've got that, and I've got an old antenna here somewhere. I think that's it. And um, I even have this. This is an interesting little project. This is an old Jeepster dash panel that I was going to do some folk art with. So that's something that's going on around the shop. These are cheap Harbor Freight uh, worthless LED outside lights that um, the LEDs work 
Uh, the rest of it's garbage. They're not waterproof, so uh, don't buy them. But I've already bought these, so I'm going to do something with these LEDs. And let's see what else is of no. Oh, this is an interesting. When I was doing all the air conditioning work on um, the Jeep, I bought this uh, sniff detector, halogen leak detector. It detects um, uh, any leaks coming from R34 or some other halogen gases. Not R34. Uh, 134. It was only 20 bucks. This thing works really good. I saw this on some reviews, and for $20, you can't beat it. And if you want to see if your evaporator core is leaking, you stick this little uh, piece right here and it will um, in your vent. So you can see if you've got any leaks behind the dash. And to show you how this thing works, you turn it on and you can adjust your sensitivity. Number one is the most sensitive, it flashes. And this can of Freon, is not leaking yet. Put it on. I've got it hooked up. So what I'll do now is let a little out and let's see what happens. That's completely turned off, but it's leaking a little bit, you see. So that, that's how the thing works. No leaks around there. I used this and actually found a leak when I was hooking it up, hooking my, um, uh, my unit up on the low pressure switch, and I would have never known it was there. So, to me, it's worth 20 bucks. And we're still waiting for paint to dry. So, another new tool. I've had this Pittsburgh digital composite caliper for a long time. It's... Uh, one of their cheapos like five six dollars and it's cheap this uh this cover for battery keeps coming off and it um the accuracy is actually in question so at work we use a company called micromark for some certain type of um uh, measuring devices so i decided to see if they had a digital caliper and they do so i bought it it was only like thirty dollars and it ha comes with a little certificate of uh, saying it, it was, has been inspected. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but uh, it's very heavy duty and metal. And what I do like about it, it has this micro adjustment right here. You see? So um, it looks to be extremely heavy duty in comparison to that. Haven't tried it yet, but looking forward to that. These are the specifications of it. Um, so it does inch, millimeter. Those are your accuracy. All right, it's been 10 minutes. This is what it looks like. Time for the second coat. Second coat finished. I think maybe one more coat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one more coat. One more coat. Now, since we got 10 more minutes to wait, the uh, cheap Jeep parts tables are looking kind of bare. That's because we're almost done. Um, old fasteners left over, some electronic ends. Y'all remember the video where I messed this up by squeezing it too tight. I think this door check works. If it is, I'm going to use it on the other Jeep. Uh, the only projects I've got left are these or some rear shackles. The rear, sh the rear shackles are very rusted, so I'm going to change these out. There was a coupon a few months ago that was made these pretty cheap, so I'm going to do that. And uh, everything else is just spare parts. In case I do decide not to go with a factory radio, I've got a kit for it because it was like $12 for the that and the wiring harness adapter, but I may or may never use that. So anyway, the cheap Jeep is almost done uh, when it comes to uh, reconditioning. And I do have some the original fender, uh, you know, linings. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those on it. Let me know if you have any experience. Should I put them or should I not put them? 
to keep you know mud and stuff coming from the uh, from into the engine bay and the wheel wells but what I have seen is that if you don't clean them properly moisture will cause rust oops we don't want that to happen so we've got a few more minutes to wait all right the third and final coat We'll let that dry according to the can for 30 minutes and then we can spray the clear on it. In case you were wondering or interested or maybe not, this is the Chief. This is my little camper that I restored. It's a 1969 Bethany Chief. Uh, pop-up camper and uh, it's really a tent trailer these fold out there's canvas that goes around the side don't pay attention to the seat that's for the uh, cheap Jeep but um, I have a whole video on uh, on that on the restoration and the actual setup if you want to see it look at the the uh, one that I think that says setup but uh, I pulled this all the way to Colorado uh, a few thousand miles it did real well. The only thing about it is in a, uh, if you have a cloth side when it gets real windy, it's kind of sketchy, but uh, real fun project, and I plan on using it again at the end of the summer when it's not so hot because it does not have air conditioning. All right, it's been drying for 30 minutes. I've been shaking this for a while. We're going to spray it down with this clear coat. Hopefully that'll shine it up a little bit. We'll get it back on the Jeep. And another project for the cheap Jeep is this rooftop basket. This thing was only $21 on clearance right in line with the cheap Jeep and I got some these crossbars were also 20 bucks these regularly are a hundred dollars this was like over a hundred dollars but they were on clearance so I got both of them for forty dollars com combined so we're gonna install this on the cheap Jeep eventually got the clear on I hope it dries a little better it looks like it's got a haze to it we'll see 